Hello and welcome back to Rome Total War, Skippy I campaign doing the no post Marion unit recruitment challenge. And today we are wrapping things up on our frontiers and going to start preparing for the Civil War. We've got to take Tarsus and Asturica over here in Spain. I don't think I'm just, I think I'm just going to leave the Numidian capital. I don't think they can raise too many troops to go after us. We'll leave a small garrison here because this is a pretty, well, not really profitable, but it's it's not a terrible uh, settlement. So we want to keep a few troops here just to, just to keep them happy. But I'll send out most of this force back to deal with the Civil War. Uh, we do have a little bit of trouble over here in Sinope. We're only at 20% public order. Uh, they're probably going to riot. I don't know if we'll lose the city. Hopefully, if we do, we can take it back pretty easily. Um, I did retrain, retrain some of my units instead of just getting all peasants. I want to go after... Um, this is their factionaire of Pontus. So before he spawns too many units in his bodyguard, I want to go after him. And then we have Titus going over here after Tarsus. And I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. Looks like we are being attacked by Spain's faction leader. Let's go ahead and take him out. We got a 2 to 1 odds. Just the usual Spanish forces over here. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna send my units back a little bit because we got this, eh, not really great hill, but I like it better than our current position. So we're gonna back up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, have everybody double time. So they're the attackers, so they should be coming after us. Shouldn't have too far to run. So I got my uh, cavalry on my right flank. Nothing really protecting me from my left flank. But they don't have too much cavalry over here on their right flank, so I think we'll be okay. Actually, let's get one cavalry unit over here. And I'm going to send my cavalry back a little bit. Send my slingers up in front so that they don't do friendly fire. Alright, here they come to my right flank. Those guys should run automatically. Um, what do we got over here? Iberian Infantry. Let's go. Let's help out with our cavalry. We got their General's Bodyguard right there in the center. Let's get our General back. They are riding, routing on the right flank. We're going to send them over here. And they just got these round shields. Let's, uh, I don't know. A little more cautious now to send my general out if to anybody after the last last game. Okay, we got their enemy general. Let's uh let's make sure my left flank is secure. Yeah, let's get these guys moving out. It looks like they're retreating now. So let's just yeah get everybody forward. from the battlefield all right it's a full-on route I'm just gonna finish them up real quick all right over a thousand kills only lost 133 pretty good we did a lot of construction last turn we were able to build in every single city that uh, had the population size so that's really good Doing a lot of economic buildings. We did get the armory in Masana, so we can start uh, upgrading. We'll upgrade the uh, awesome Temple of Vulcan next. Uh, not bad on our income. We've got over 102,000 total income. Our army wages are half that at 50,000, but we're doing all right. Okay, that was it for Spain. Um, they've been wiped out, so that last town is now going to be a rebel force. So if we look over here, 
I think the composition changed just a little bit. I'm not sure what they had before. I think it was similar size though. Uh, but I'll go ahead and uh, assault. Okay, we do have open gates. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, but let me uh, wait a little bit. I want to take a look at Sinope over here. We do have revolts. I didn't see any reports about population or troop losses though. Uh, it does look like we did lose some troops, so I don't know where that message went. I didn't see the uh, writing message, so we did lose some overall troops. The uh, We're up to 55%. We might be able to get this under wraps if we just keep training. Yeah, but I want to move my guy out of the city. Let's take a look at the uh, Pontus Factionaire over here. He's got a profit. Uh, let's take a look at his... Wow, he's back up to 57 so quickly. Just a couple of turns. Managed to get most of his bodyguard back. Hmm. I'm going to need more than just a couple cavalry to take him. Oh, man. Well, we got another big rebel force over here as well. Not too many troops here. Well, I think I am going to just move most of my army out. And if they rebel, then so be it. I'm going to... I'll leave a few guys. All right. Let's go. I'm taking most of my army out. I did bring up some peasants. Maybe that will help. No, we're at 15%. We're probably going to lose this city. But we can take it right back again. Let's get Titus moving towards Tarsus. And we can get this spy. We have 98% chance. It's pretty good, but it's not guaranteed. Yeah, he made it. Wow, they've got uh, two family members over here. Spain was completely out of family members, but they have plenty to spare, even though it's their last settlement. Only 610 population. They shouldn't be able to recruit too much more. So Titus should be fine taking this city. And unfortunately, these rebels are on a bridge too. We could hit them from both sides. I'm definitely not ready to go after them yet. All right, let's go, Publius. We've got just uh, stockades open gates we should be able to handle them uh some iberian infantry peasants and a rebel general which is a heavy cab so we'll have to watch out for him but the rest not too worried about let's go all right i'm over here on this side which is the, the open gate the other side didn't have an open gate so let's get my uh, archers up first and followed by my infantry cavalry finally general we got peasants defending the gates. I almost don't want to waste arrows on them, but I'm going to. Peasants can be a pain sometimes, especially in cities when you can't surround them and get rely on them to route so quickly. Oh, we do have a tower over here. I didn't even see it. Let's get away from this tower. We lost a few archers to the tower over here. I'm gonna get some infantry in here. Alright, we've taken the walls, we're marching in here. I think I'm... They might be sending their general, I don't know, I see someone behind that building over there, but not sure if they're coming after us. Doesn't look like it. They do have a troop over here at this gate. Just another group of peasants, so I don't need to really worry about them. Let's get our infantry in first, followed by our, our cavalry, then our archers. Let's get our cavalry over here. Alright, here comes their peasants. I'm going to send this Hastati after them. Let's let them catch up. We also got our equites here. Okay, they're routed. Alright, looks like they've got their Iberian infantry. I turned off my spears because I didn't want to waste them on peasants. So let's go ahead and uh, get these Iberian infantry. Alright, they've already broken before they could even reach us. Very nice. Alright, let's hold our fire. We've got a few Pila left. Let's get my general in here, followed by my archers, velites, and slingers. 
All right, so I'm gonna uh, move some of my infantry up a little bit. Swinging my cavalry around to the sides. All right, I got them pretty well surrounded. I'm sending my slingers up front. Gonna start firing them and then lure them out and then uh, finish them off. All right, let's have our archers, all our missile units, fire at will. And have my cavalry charge up. They're swinging over to the sides. Here comes their general. Our slingers did not get back like I thought they would. Let's uh, send our cavalry forward, infantry forward. Let's see how. Okay, their general's routed. We've got their infantry surrounded. We killed their general. We just need to finish off these peasants in the town square. And some Iberian infantry. Cavalry is taking a little bit of a beating. This is a heroic victory worthy of Roman arms. All right, pretty good. Only lost 79 guys. That was really good. So the question is, should we exterminate or enslave? I think I'm gonna do the enslave option. Let's take a look at their shrine, Abnoba. Now we've already upgraded our archers, so let's go ahead and tear down that shrine. Put in Saturn, and we're good to go. Um, I'll probably get to start moving troops out right away. I'm gonna merge, and then retrain, and grab some peasants, and then just. Go ahead and march out right away. They probably won't like that. Let's see how low it goes. 70% uh, is fine. Because we'll get that with the peasants we recruit next turn. Keep my agent. I'm going to keep a spy with the army. Go ahead and build a watchtower here. So we've got Spain all wrapped up. We'll have to keep some troops here in Asuka. Yeah, so I'm going to get these guys back into deal with the civil war and uh, yeah we don't need to our whole west this whole west side of the map here we're pretty secured here and cannot get attacked by anyone so we can keep a smaller force here in Asuka and can uh, pretty much contain the Julii we might want to build a fort here in this pass and maybe yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh-oh. Rebels. I didn't expect to see them here. And now I can't move back and I can't build my watchtower. I mean my fort. I should be able to move back next turn. Let's just send some guys to protect Luca over here. And the spy as well. I've been... Uh, Recruiting peasants over here in Pergamum and sending them over to Sardis to disband because I want Sardis to grow. Uh, I should lower the taxes here. We can go to low taxes. Get Sardis to go to the next level of town. That'll help with our income, I think. All right, let's take a look at our allies' uh, population sizes. We have Croton here at 23,451, just 500 people to go before they can build the Imperial Palace. And let's take a look at... I can't move anywhere. I can't get a view of uh, Tarentum because of all the armies over here. Um, I'm pretty sure Croton is bigger than Trentum, but I'll get him to move around, I think. Well, let's just move here. Maybe he'll move out of the way. And over here in Aretium, 23,087. So there's still over 900 left. The Julii do have a lot of armies here. They have a general now, Manius, but they don't, they're not besieging any Gaul territories just yet. 
but they do have enough armies to do it probably gaul has an assassin out here all right i got this fleet over here which i'm getting i'm gonna pick up uh this julianus julianus scipio not julianus the cunning and we're gonna have him be the governor of sparta because sparta doesn't have a governor and it's getting it's not the biggest city but I, I want to grow Greece a little bit if I can because I've taken a lot of settlements and have slavery uh, slaves going to all the settlements with governors in them so I want to take advantage of that and grow cities that are closer to my capital so that um, so that we can have more income and recruit more troops I'm not sure what to build in Capua Definitely going to recruit as many Triara as we can before the Marian reforms. Um, I think I just need a great forum. Because I, I can ship my guys off over to Sicily to do training. So I just want to do income here in the capital. I do want to build the walls as well. But I can wait for the Marian reforms to get triggered. This uh, great forum takes six turns. Let's take a look at the um, Senate tab over here so we've dropped a little bit uh but we're not super low we're definitely super high with the people that means we can start the civil war anytime we want so i've got this senate mission to take tarsus and i've got seven turns remaining what typically happens is once you get pretty big the senate can send you a mission to kill your faction leader and then if you don't do it it's the start of the civil war so i want to make sure and delay completing this mission as long as possible so i'm just going to besiege tarsus until the very last turn and then complete the mission and then um then they'll give me a new mission and that might trigger the civil war i don't know it, it could even be a little bit longer after that but hopefully yeah hopefully uh we can delay it so we can build up more troops because just look at these uh broody eye armies over here just insane and they're all over in my territory over here they've got you know western greece and athens which is a huge income for me. So when the Civil War hits, uh, this is going to be really important for me to take Athens, maybe Thurman. Wow, you just look at all these broody eye armies over here everywhere. Uh, I'm so spread out all over the map, which I'm so glad I have the West. I can just keep a small amount of troops. It'd be nice if the broody eye like, went after Egypt or something like that. That would be really cool. So I'm up to 39 regions controlled. I'll have 40 when I take Tarsus. And that means I have 10 left, so I should be easily able to do that by taking out the Brutii and Julii and to win the game. Yeah, over here in uh, Masana, I definitely want to get the Temple of Vulcan. I can retrain my guys from the armor, get them the next upgraded arm armor levels. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fight these rebels over Attack. here. It's just a bunch of peasants and a warband. All right, we took care of them pretty easily. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. We'll see what happens in Sinope. Oh, forgot about my navy over here. Let's go ahead and win this battle. All right, there we go. Riding in Sinope. Lost 156 soldiers, 899 citizens, and they damaged the cavalry stables. So, didn't lose the city. We're still just 20% public order. Uh, I'm not going to repair the cavalry stables. Okay, let's get some additional troops in here. And, ah, we're up to 50%. We might be able to save it. We're training a bunch of guys. We got, we're getting our triari, triarii, hastatis, equites, archers, principes, a lot of peasants. A lot of people being retrained. Uh, we're building a lot of. We got some walls going. A, a lot of arenas, roads, mines, shrines. Well, we lost about 3,000 denarii last turn. That's because we did a lot of recruitment. I'm preparing for the civil war, so I'm building up my armies. Army upkeep is now at 53,000. All right, we're gonna go ahead and build a fort over here protect us from the Julii and I think if the Julii try to march around we can defend on the 
water crossing, but they most likely wouldn't do that. They would come directly and hit the fort. Alright, let's go ahead and besiege Tarsus. Attack. Besieging settlement, sir. And we'll just get a ton of rams because I don't plan on taking it for a while. Four turns until it we take it. Our Senate mission is six turns, so that's good. We'll just delay it as much as possible. Six, four turns is fine. Keep an eye on this guy. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this army over here. He'll probably retreat. Can we reach him? No, we'll have to wait till next turn. He's up to 66 units. He gets his bodyguards back really fast. All right, it looks like uh, the Julii just took the settlement Lugdunum. I don't know how much population it has, so it could mean Aretium might start growing, might push them over the threshold, but it uh, looks like Croton has 23,686, so they're only 400 away. I think Croton's going to get there first. Tarentum's not even close. Arminum's not even close. And I don't know, last time I checked, Medial Anonym wasn't close either. Let me uh, get yes, over here. Okay, and over here, Medial Anonym. Oh, they're already at 24,000. Wow, this city grew a lot faster than the others. Okay, we could be seeing the Marian Reforms in another t few turns. I don't know when they pass the 24,000 threshold. But I'm guessing it was either this turn or last turn. Okay, I need to up my recruitment, which I have been. I've been recruiting a lot of uh, troops every turn. So I'm getting Triarii in uh, Syracuse and Capua and getting Equites over here in Lilibium. And we're getting Histadi and Masana. That's really the best unit we can recruit over here. I've been recruiting up here because they get the armor bonus. And we've got Principes that we're recruiting over here. I've been sending guys up here to be retrained. Although, I should just start sending them over to Syracuse to be... Or Masana to be retrained because it's just as good now that we've upgraded to the armor. And uh, we're getting large Temple Vulcan. So, yeah, Marian Reforms will get triggered soon. And then we'll have to, um, we won't be able to recruit any more units. We will be able to get, um, uh, mercenaries and, um, like cavalry auxilia and stuff like that. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. All right, let's take a look at our re recruitment report. We're getting Triari, Hastati, Equites, just the usual. Retraining a lot of guys, getting upgrades. And a lot of construction. We did get the awesome temple of Saturn in Carthage. All right, we are the strongest faction, so we have the most troops. Uh, popularity with the Senate is falling. And our finances are, we're in the negative again. Our army upkeep is up to 55,000. Let's take a look at Sinope. They probably, well, they rioted, but... Uh, Let's go ahead and get an arena instead of that large temple of Saturn. Uh, I could repair the, ca the cavalry stables. I'll go ahead and do that and get the arena. Help with public order. I'm not going to retrain. We'll just grab another peasant. All right. We're at 75%. We did it. We managed to save the city. What do these guys think they're doing? Blockading us? Where'd they go? I don't see them. Take a look at our Senate floor. Yeah, we are dropping. We're down to five, five uh, points. So the Senate does not like us. Uh, we we'll win this uh, siege in three turns and complete this Senate mission, which we will be rewarded. I don't know what the reward will be. General. All right, let's go ahead and take on their factionaire over here. Uh, get revenge for him killing uh, Secundus. Uh, looks like he's growing stronger every turn. He hired a couple of mercenaries, so still not too big of a challenge. Just hope they don't have like this huge mount mountain that they can defend. All right, again, they've got the high ground, but it's not as big of a deal as last time. Just going to go ahead and start marching forward. They do have these onagers. All right, we're already in range of their barbarian cav. I'm going to get my infantry to hustle up a little bit. We got our 
cab on the sides over here. I'm just sending my infantry right through them. We're gonna hit them right away. No delay. Okay, everyone, get their general. The enemy general flees. He's routed. Press forward, so the spirit of his army is broken too. Don't know if we'll be able to catch up with... Yeah, we won't. We won't be able to get them. We're so close, though. Seventy-eight percent. I don't think that's enough. He's gonna get away. If we can kill their general. Ah, we might be able to get him. Where is their general? Is he up front or in the back? Oh, there he is, right up front. So he's gonna escape with like 20 guys, okay. All right, we uh, killed most of them. We only lost 54, but he's got 60 remaining. I think that's uh, not enough to wipe him out. Let's see where he goes. All right, still got 21 guys, most all cavalry force. With the 22 Barbarian Cavalry, some Scythian. Hmm. I'm General. wondering General. if I can just take him out with Titus's Cavalry Forces. I should be able to do that. And Titus can get the revenge for his former uh, General Secundus. Yeah, let's go, Titus. Leaving the army. Attack! All right, we're going to take them on and see if we can get our revenge. All right, again on a hill. But we'll be able to surround him. He doesn't have too many archers. He does have his missile cav that can throw the javelins. But only a handful of the Scythian uh, archers here. Just going to get in formation before we get in missile range. That way we, we're not all clumped together as when they start hitting us with missiles. Alright, I think that's close enough. Let's go ahead and advance. Alright, they're in range. We're going to start running. Let's go. Here we go. We're gonna head straight for their general, I think. Sound the horn. Uh, looks like we got caught up with these guys. Let's uh, wait. Let's take them out first. And then hit their general. We're gonna ignore these uh, missile cap for now. Keep an eye on where my general is. These missile cab look like they are in skirmish mode, but our equite should be faster than them because they are heavy cab. All right, he got one of my equites. Sound the horn, charge. General flees! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! Okay, let's see if we can finally get him. There he is. No, he's gonna escape again. He escaped again. That's just crazy. Just can't get this guy. Alright. Well, we killed uh, 42. There's 17 left. And yeah, they got away again. Victory! Oh no, looks like uh, we did stack wipe them. Imperator. 
All right, let's get Titus back with this army over here. I'm gonna get one more uh, peasant from Pergamum over here into Sardis. We're gonna disband him, and now Sardis can grow. We'll start making a little bit more money over here. That should help out. We can uh, upgrade the mines once that uh, governor's villa finishes. Good. So over here in Syracuse, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a cavalry stables. Because once the Amerian reforms hit, uh, I'll still be able to re recruit um, cavalry auxilia. I want to get more cavalry stables set up. Uh, right now I'm uh, build training as many infantry guys as I can right now before the Marian reforms hits. So I've got this uh, Queso's army over here. I'm going to go ahead and send all my archers over here to Carthago Nova because we have the uh, Sacred Circle, Circle of Abnoba which we're using to upgrade missile we weapons. I'm also recruiting archers over here. We're going to have <clears throat> Asuka over here be a staging area for the Civil War. And so I'm going to move Queso over into Asuka right now. I'm a little bit worried about the tavern over here. If I keep my generals in this city, if they're going to get uh, some negative traits. So I think uh, I need to worry about that a little bit. He's already a social drinker. Hmm. I might send him over. Let's see. Does Carthago Nova have the tavern? Yeah, it has a tavern as well. I could just dismantle the tavern. It only gives the 5% public uh, order bonus. So what are we at? Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and dismantle it. Might cause a little bit of unrest. Yeah, it did. I guess the ooh, 15%. Oh, I'll, no, just I don't think it actually did. So yeah, get rid of that building. And we can't really replace it with anything because we don't... Uh, the Romans don't have any tavern kind of buildings. I'm gonna get the rest of the troops over here as well. Still got all these guys over here in Scalabus. We need to get them moving too. Let's see how many we can actually move out without destroying the city's morale. Okay, we, actually we can get that whole army out. So we'll do that. Get them marching over. Get Publius Victor marching out as well. We'll have a bunch of armies set up to attack the Julii uh, when the Civil War starts. I'm going to get an arena in um, Carthage over here. So I think I am just going to go ahead and take Tarsus this turn. I might as well. Uh, we got the gates open. We got three rams. I, I want to get these troops back because the Marian reforms are going to get triggered. And then I want to start the Civil War almost immediately after that. So let's go ahead and take them out. They do have two generals bodyguards and some of these east, eastern infantry which uh, with the upgrades they're actually pretty decent. 6 and 12. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and fight. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and get my archers up front first. And I might as well just send my rams up as well. They do have the missile cab, but I don't think they're going to be standing up in front of the gates. And if they do, I can engage them with my uh, archers. It's a pretty small town, so this should be pretty easy to deal with. Making short work of their eastern infantry. All right, well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get the infantry in. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, I got my infantry in the city. I think they're coming after me. Getting my cavalry in now. They got their eastern infantry charging me. This is a different group than what we saw before. Let's get our peltis back. Let's get them back. 
general, what are you doing here? Get back. Yeah, I hate it when the AI does weird pathing decisions. <laughs> My peltists are uh, doing a little crazy dance over here. Now they're finally forming up. No, oh, looks like they're sending their uh, general's bodyguard after me. They should be in archer range. Let's get this uh, Hastati back. And uh, maybe we can get him on multiple sides. Yeah, they are in our archer range. Archers are firing. They're hitting us with their javelins. There's a general's bodyguard right up front. We got way more archers than they have javelins. But we are taking quite a few casualties. Let's keep our guys happy. No, not yet. We're not pressing forward. We still got another general's bodyguard to deal with. He has 10 guys left. This guy has 52. We're just going to hold firm. They keep coming after us. We can hit them with our archers. I'm going to get a, an archery unit in the city. Double time. Ah, oh, what are my archers doing? They were supposed to stay behind my infantry. And those are my well armored golden upgrade archers. Okay, here they come. Let's go ahead and have my infantry just charge out. And I got these cavalry. Let's go ahead and hit these. The enemy general. The enemy general is. Yeah, we killed the general. Nice. Press the attack. All right, I'm getting my infantry a little bit more forward. Getting some cavalry on the flanks. We have 20 exhausted infantry. Let's get some archers up here. Poor archers. Alright. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to reach our guys. I'm going to stop them though. So they don't come any closer. We'll wait for the final charge. Our archers should be in range. Yep. And then this this group of infantry should uh, charge us when they do get in range. Are they actually firing though? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe if I send them like this. All right, these archers are now firing. They should fire. No, don't they have a pretty clear shot now? Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look like they actually have a good shot. Maybe it's because too many infantry are in the way. If I get my infantry out of the way, maybe they will. Okay, now they have no excuse. They have nobody in front of them. They should start firing. Why aren't they firing? I 
You give him a direct fire command. There we go. And that should bring him out. Here they come. Wait a little bit. Let's get our cavalry to charge these guys. And get our infantry to charge these guys. Let's go. We should get most of them to route. But unfortunately they got guys in the square. Who won't round? All right, one guy left. We got him. Now one guy left. One guy left. Got him. Alright, we only lost 167, not bad. And I think I am going to go ahead and enslave it even though there's only 62 people. Um, wow, look at that. We'll repair the Palisades. We can't even recruit, can't recruit any uh, peasants. Okay, Senate mission complete. They gave us a thousand denarii, nice. Uh, was that even worth the walls, the cost to repair the walls? 117, so I guess it's a good investment. I'm going to merge these troops. And I'm going to march them out. Except for a handful of, uh, we'll leave the Peltists. Um, I think I'll wait one turn to march them out. I'm going to get rid of this, uh shrine and get a shrine to Saturn. We're still at 65%. We should be okay in a couple of turns. And then we can march this guy back and get him to take part in the Civil War. Let's go take a look at the uh, faction rankings real quick. I want to look at the uh, Brutii and the Julii. Uh, Brutii have uh, looked like they're a little bit flat recently. Julii have been growing. They took a new region in uh, Gaul, so let's take a look at military. We just passed the Brutii in military strength. Julii are way down. Brutii are going to be really tough to deal with, though. Uh, of course, production, we're way up there. Territories, yes. Finances. Wow, the Brutii took a massive hit in finances. They spent a lot of money, whatever it was. Uh, and same with the Julii. They're uh, hurting financially. I mean, we're right in the middle between the two, but usually I expect the AI to be like way ahead of us. Um, they've been way ahead of us the whole game, so we've just passed the Brutii, and uh, Julii are also plummeting, so that's good. It's good to see that. Of course, we're way above them in population. Nice. Uh, we'll take a look at the Senate floor. So we're still at four, a, a ranking of four. No, five. We're at a ranking of five. We'll see if they give us any crazy missions and get us to start the Civil War early. Hopefully not. I, I should have a few more turns before they do something like that, I think. And it should be enough time to get my armies positioned in where I want them to be positioned. I'm not sure yet. And we need to continue to build up before they get the uh, Imperial Palace over here. And who knows, they might not even have built it right away. They might have been in the middle of building something else so they could wait a few turns. Yeah, we don't get, even with the spy, we don't get visibility on what they are constructing. So they could, could have built it right away. They could have built it a couple turns ago and we'll be triggering the Marian Reform soon. Who knows? I'm going to get these uh, Triarii out of Capua and get them over here to be retrained. 
as soon as the Marian reforms get triggered, I think I will go ahead and start building walls up in Capua. I actually might do that as soon as this uh, great forum is over because I'll definitely need it. Um, protect my capital. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.